how do you control axe weapons without blowing them up all the time? Relays and micro switches. Okay, what are we going to need today? Today we're going to need two relays. These ones I have chosen from JCAR. They are 60 amp single pole double throw relays, 8.95 each. Need two. Also need some micro switches. These are also quite cheap. I think they're about three bucks. They're also from JCAR. We need two diodes. This will help when the electromagnetic field collapses in the relay so you don't get any back spikes. You will need some cabling, some heat shrink, brushed motor. This one came from a cheap starter motor on eBay. You'll also need a brushed ESC. I'm running the Botbits 30 amp brushed. You'll also need some connectors to go into your relays. Also from JCA. You also require your own flavor of receiver and transmitter. First step is we make a Y cable for the positive side for the ESC. And then we make a negative side with two control wires coming off to trigger the relay inside. Now we have one for pos neg to go straight to the motor. Next bit is to solder on the diodes and I just realized that one's backwards. So you want it with the little silver bit on terminal 85. The other thing when you solder this on, you need your black control wires from neutral going there on the left hand side into 86. And then you also need to solder your micro switch wires into 85. Okay, now we're gonna solder the diode and the control wire for the micro switch into pin 85. I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other relay. Also heat shrunk. So the relay on the right is going to be green today and the relay on the left is going to be yellow. My right, your left. Yeah. Okay. Negative. Going into pin 87A. Okay. So now these ones each need to go into pin 86 on that side. In retrospect, I should have put that one on first. <laughs> oh well.
power, positive, goes to 87A, no, goes on to terminal 30 on the left side, which we'll call yellow side today. Negative battery, same terminal on the right hand side, or team green for today. And that bit is everything done. Obviously we'll go a little bit further. So on team green, outside, these switches have got a normally closed, a normally open and a common. We want to go normally closed for this one. We're going to go from the common on the bottom to the positive of the ESC. For the other one, we're going to go from team yellow, the left side, to the common on the micro switch, and the next micro switch. We'll go from the normally closed on this switch back to the ESC negative. Ah, oh, deadly sketch. Okay, everything's wired up. Let's do a recap of what we did today. The two front ones. 8787 uh, jump together and they will be going to power for the battery and power for the electronic speed controller. 87A, the middle ones are also jumped together going to negative for the battery and the ESC. 8686 have been jumped from the outside into the center and then 85, 85 are both going to micro switches which are going back to the ESC and 30 and 30 POSNEG are going to the motor let's give it a try okay double checked our wiring let's give it a test and hope we don't get any smoke so good so far got my micro switches up here for test Change direction. Beauty. So that is how you very cleanly wire a couple of relays for your axe robot. Without further ado, 
Let's test it. It's alive! Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on using limit switches with relays for axe robot weapons. If you like that, check out the other ones. Like, subscribe, tell your mum. I'll see you next time. This is Creative Instigation. Thank you very much.